Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I talk all things World Chase Tag. In today's episode, I'll be discussing which one of the two rules in World Chase Tag takes more physical exertion. And like I always say, do take it with a grain of salt. Before we really get into the heat of the debate, let me explain clearly what each role is supposed to be doing. A chaser's job in World Chase Tag is to tag the opposing athlete in the least amount of time as possible. And the evader's job is to not get tagged for as long as possible. In short, to evade. So if you think about it, they're kind of the same, right? Uh, wrong. That is absolutely wrong. Proof. In one of my earlier videos, I explained what I thought to be the biggest differences between chaser and evader. In that video, I explained that the chaser and the evader both have to be thinking differently about how to use the quad, even though they're in the same space operating at the same time. Usually the chaser occupies the inside of the quad while the evader takes the outside. This should mean the chaser exerts less energy because they're consistently on the inside of the quad which means they'd have to travel less distance to tag the opposing athlete. And although this is true, we haven't yet discussed the evader's advantage, which comes in the form of idling. This happens either at the beginning of a chase or during some time in the middle, when the evader creates enough distance to rest behind an obstacle. Plus, as a chaser, there isn't really an opportunity for you to ever stop running, because it's your job to always be flushing the evader out of those obstacles. By now, we've had a good look at the pros and cons of each. So, which one is harder? For the longest time, I wasn't sure myself. So I decided to put up a poll on Instagram and let the athletes themselves decide. Jason Bergeron says, chase. Nicodemus says, chase. Jacob Wheeler says, chase. So I guess after all that, chaser wins. Or loses, depending on how you look at it. And although I do agree with this, there is another element that we haven't discussed yet. That being who you're paired against. Everyone plays differently and play style can mean the difference between which one is more strenuous. 